Out here, the uh, inaugural um, Dirt Fathers, uh, dads at the zoo, man, just kicking it with the people. Super excited, man, kicking it with our family and friends, and just a lot of dope dads out here, man. Man, I'm excited to be out here with my kids, man. It's I just finished a 12 hour shift, I ain't been asleep yet. We up, but we outside, man. Anything for the kids, I'm glad their fathers has a platform set up where dads can celebrate each other. We can exchange knowledge and information to become better fathers. We can intermingle our kids so we can create a community and a network that they can lean on within ourselves and outside of ourselves. So it means a lot to be here today. Basically, my enjoyment comes from their happiness. So anything to make them happy, basically. Um, I've been following the movement for a minute now. Uh, I, I like everything that you guys got going on as far as like bringing attention to the black fathers because we are kind of like a forgotten breed a little bit. and. I know from the ones that I didn't grew up with, especially in my class, I'm 30-something, so most of us and most of the guys I know are pretty good fathers, and so this brings a lot of light to the different things that we do out here in the events, and so getting out, seeing these guys, I wanted to make sure that I did my support, did my part, come out and make sure that you guys knew that, hey, the city got your back. Well, you can't take that off, Daddy. Hold on, man. Damn. Don't touch that, okay? <laughs> oh, one time I ain't had no costume, and I had to be Michael Jackson. And my mom was like, I ain't buying you no costume, so I just had some two little slacks. And some crew socks and some church shoes, you know what I mean? Everybody had a white button up. Hey, we put that on, hit the hood, you know what I mean? And a bunch of good dudes. I know a lot of, I know a lot of the guys are a bunch of good dudes. I know they're good fathers, but they're good dudes first, so that makes me, they, I knew they'd be good fathers. So it was just having the kids around the same age, around each other is pretty good, man. Really, really good. Hey, they make you think that there's not, there's no black fathers, there's not a lot of black fathers taking care of their kids, but me and all my friends, I know a bunch of black fathers. Single fathers, raising their sons, their daughters, you know, being what, doing what we need to see in our community. You know, this right here, seeing all these black fathers come together is beautiful, man. It lets you know that there are, there are other black fathers out there taking care of their kids. So, I mean, it's beautiful, man, I love it. Basically like knowing who had the big candy bars. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You always had that neighbor who had the big king size candy bars and that's the people you want to hit up once, maybe three, four times. I think watching Goosebumps, watching Goosebumps, yeah, and also reading the books too, also on, on like on Halloween nights. So yeah, I think I think that's my favorite childhood memory of Halloween. Man, look, creating memories is the most most exciting thing of being a father, you know, and just being able to not only capture memories, you know, of other fathers. It just, you know, it really warms my heart to see other men and you know bring their children and things out here and just enjoying the time with my kid, you know, and. Man, you can't ask for a great thing, man. You can't ask for a great moment. So, you know, I'm absolutely glad that it's her and it's y'all. So, you know, our generation, we can come through how we do. You know, we don't have to ascribe to some kind of aesthetic or, you know, be some kind of way, you know, not knocking the Cosby show or nothing like that. But, you know, cats are out here, hoodies, Tim's on, jeans, you know what I'm saying, fitted hat, you know what I'm saying, all of that, because that's who we are. So being able to have that visibility, man, Big ups, big salute, man. Like for real, it's it, it's it, it's a dope move. So when you see black dads showing up, it just reminds people this is the norm. This is not the exception. Black dads have always been there. It's just now we got to let most people understand that. But this is the true narrative. They're here. They're they're taking time with their kids. They're not babysitting. Dads don't babysit. They spend time with their children. So this is fantastic and it's very affirming. Uh, number one, the best job in the world is being a father, 100%. You know what I mean? Duty in the world is being a father. You know what I mean? Out here playing with the kids. And... Uh, it's exciting, bro. You know what I'm saying? Uh, at least be able, like, I knew for sure, like, uh, when, when, this, when this thing came up, I think I got, like, the last six tickets or whatever. Like, I was talking about grown-ass niece here. I'm like, are well, you going before I RSVP this? And it was sold out right after that. I wanted to make sure I came down here and just, you know, wanted to feel the energy and all that, man, and just have my baby out here too, you know? Like, it's, it's, it's crazy, you know? Especially where we come from, you know? Sometimes you're a little selfish, you know, growing up. When you have kids, then you get to really see how somebody else's happiness can make you happy. 
So just, you know, just seeing them having a good time, them being out here, you never really realize how much joy you could get from giving joy to others. Four of them, yes sir. Man, four times strong. <laughs> thank, you, right. thank you, thank you. And, and I was telling Lamar about this, I was like, man, this, this should be, this should be, oh, I can't wait till this gets like way bigger where everyone can see everything we're doing. Like this should be known across the world, to be honest, like for real. Hey, you with my family, man. Like my family, you know, doing like a, a harvest fest or, you know, Carving up pumpkins with my cousins and the rest of, you know, all the kids, family just getting together, man. Just family, man. That's what it's all about. So I, that's my favorite, just being, just the family memories, man, just getting together. Hey, man, you know what it is, man. Dear fathers all day long. Yeah, man, uh, being a father, that's like my number one, like, go-to. It's like, hey, that's me. You know, you ask me, hey, what are you, Barry Green? And I'm going to let you know, like, hey, I'm a father, I'm this, I'm that first, you know what I mean? So it means everything to me. So, so we're going to continue to do this, brother. Our first event here in St. Louis, man, it won't be our last for sure.